At 440, it's time to get you up to speed on the stories you need to know to start your morning. Chandler police say they've arrested a man after DNA has connected him to a nearly 30 year old sexual assault case. The DNA from 1991 was identified as male not as male nine years after the fact, but it wasn't until recently that police got a hold of a sample of Gary Young's DNA and then found a match. Now Young is charged with kidnapping a woman at gunpoint and sexually assaulting her at an apartment complex. Well, the race for Maricopa County's next sheriff is still deadlocked in the Republican primary. Right now, the county recorder's office says all the votes are in, but only a little more than 500 votes separate Jerry Sheridan from former sheriff Joe Arpaio. But election officials are not calling the race just yet. This has all the makings for a recount. 12 News is watching the race closely and should have updated numbers from the county recorder's office later on this morning. And we are remembering the life of World War II veteran Irvin Julian this morning. The 100-year-old came into the spotlight during President Trump's rally in Phoenix earlier this year. Two men carried Julian down a flight of stairs at Veterans Memorial Coliseum over there on the fairgrounds so he could be closer to hear the president speak. And the president honored Julian during his speech. The family says they plan to hold memorial services on October 25th and 26th in surprise. And now you're up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com, or the free 12 News app.